Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, committed members of the Golf Mafia, welcome back to the channel. This is just a time where there's just so much going on. There's so much excitement to be had. There's so much happening in this YouTube golf world that like just getting to talk about it all, all the time and go back and forth with you guys, it's just the greatest. So thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. We are growing, our community is growing, the Golf Mafia is strong. So hit that button if you haven't already. What I wanna talk about today, this is something you guys have been asking me to talk about for a couple videos now, and it's addressing everything Rick Shields has going on right now. And there was a lot, there has been a lot of teasing, there has been a lot of talk and kind of hinting and all of these things. So we're gonna get into it all. And basically most of it is centered around the last two podcasts he posted on the Rick Shields Golf Show. The last one, he had a bunch of kind of if, ands, or buts, a bunch of temptations. That was followed up by his comments on my video talking about the need for a YouTube golf league where he confirmed that he is going to be having a YouTube golf event this year, similar to his tournament he hosted in 2019. So a lot of people have thought that whatever Rick has been teasing, his announcements, whatever it is, is something to do with that. It's something to do with this YouTube golf tournament. I'm here to say, I don't really know if that's it. I think for sure the YouTube golf tournament is happening. Like he basically confirmed that in the comments he made on my post. If you missed it, go watch my video titled Rick Responded and you'll understand. I think that was something maybe a little bit separate because that's happening, right? And that's very awesome and it's very exciting. It's very hype. But I do think that him hosting this tournament is not necessarily what he's hinting towards. Because in the recent podcast he posted today, he talked about the fact that in next week's podcast, he's going to have the announcement. He's going to have what he called a, I think every golfer's dream, a life changing announcement, these types of things. Now, where I think this is all going and why I don't think it's the YouTube golf tournament specifically, although I do think that's happening. I think that's something separate. I think this new announcement is going to be some sort of involvement, involvement in the PGA tour. Now, this was something I hypothesized that when Grant and Micah had their, before they had their tailor-made announcement, that if it wasn't an equipment deal, it might be this. And that is an official PGA Tour partnership of some sort. Now, why I think this? Number one, same reason I thought it was Grant and Micah. The PGA Tour now looking to compete against Live Golf and the hype that's been built. They're obviously bigger than Live and there's not really much competition, honestly, but it is something that they've been using as a catalyst to evolve them as a sport and them as an organization to grow the sport. And I think everyone, including the PGA Tour, equipment manufacturers, whatever, are starting to realize the power of YouTube golf. Why else would they be signing all of these content creators? Why else would all these pros be playing with them? Why else would the PGA Tour be inviting Rick Shields down to Bay Hill and to the players? I don't know if it was the PGA Tour exactly, but some executives with some sort of power in that world were allowing him to go and shoot and play at those tournaments venues right before the tournament was posted, post these videos, playing at the events. It grows so much hype. His TPC Sawgrass video, oh my goodness, that was one of my favorite videos he's posted in forever because, and he talked about it in the podcast, the fact that he released it on the Wednesday, absolute genius. It just keeps evolving and bringing new value to the, to the content core which is us, the people who watch the videos, being able to watch someone like Rick go and play the course like weeks before the actual tournament and see it the day before the tournament started, it was so exciting. It gave us such a good look at the course and how it was playing and see someone a bit more average play there. He shot an incredible score versus, relative to the actual tournament venue. Like that was an amazing piece of content. So these are all little tidbits of things in my brain that are like pointing and jumping and grabbing onto a potential partnership with something like the PGA Tour. Some way to bring the Rick Shields golf world into the PGA Tour world. And although I think his audience probably skews a little older than some other golf content creators, that's just a guess. And usually a slightly older audience might have a bit more, I don't know, promise into already being PGA Tour fans. Nevertheless, he is a massive audience, 2.5 million subscribers. That is something the PGA Tour definitely wants to get a hold of. So that's kind of my reasoning for it. Like the recent videos, the Bay Hill, the players, like that's new stuff. Like, yeah, he's played nice courses before, but the week before the tournament and then being able to post it the day before the tournament and that value prop, which obviously resonated a million views in like five days on that video, something that I think that would greatly benefit the tour. Like this could be some sort of official partnership. And every golfer's dream was his quote and what this is, announcement's going to be. Like to me, every golfer's dream, you basically get to be a pro golfer without maybe having to be a pro golfer and having to have the game to back it up and having to you know have all those pressures. So maybe that means getting to play all these tour events in the venues right before. Maybe that means collaborations with players at events and being able to do things content wise. There's a lot going on in the YouTube golf world right now. And Rick Shields just really keeps proving why he's number one. Like, honestly, it is very impressive. Like it's very easy to kind of give the hype to the younger, more up and coming channels, but 
this guy's gonna be around for a long time. And honestly, I'm starting to disagree with what I said a few videos ago when I said that one day I think Goodgood will pass him. I don't know if they will. Maybe Bob does sports now, but honestly, I think he has such a reach, such a mass appeal, such a variety of content. Like he produces such different content, all with very different value props, but still under the same golf umbrella. It just makes him so valuable to the community. So shout out to Rick. This content is awesome. The break 75s are awesome at the PGA Tour events. Awesome. Can we get this guy playing at the Masters? Maybe that's it. Subtle last toss and maybe he's going to get to play Augusta before. Maybe that was a piece of paper he got passed. I don't know. These are all ideas. Comment yours down below. Golf, golf, mafia, strong. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.